As a jet fighter that saw combat action during World War II, the German Mi-262 Swallow was undoubtedly one of the best fighters of that time, with clear technological advantages over the propeller-driven fighters of the era. More than a thousand were produced during the entire war period. However, this advanced fighter quickly disappeared after the war. Did no country continue to equip and deploy them? After World War II, Czechoslovakia gained independence and obtained a lot of valuable assets while sorting through the remnants of the war, including industrial equipment transferred by the Soviet Army for the construction of BF-109 fighters and the ME-262 jet fighters, as well as some related components. This was of great value to Czechoslovakia at the time, and they immediately began assembling and producing these fighters. The post-war assembled jet fighter was renamed the S-92 Turbina, purely assembled from a variety of gathered parts. Therefore, its performance was similar to the Mi-262 fighter. However, Czechoslovakia also gathered a few dual-seat trainer models named the CS-92. In August and October of 1946, two S-92 prototypes took to the skies, followed by the CS-92 trainer aircraft in December of the same year, demonstrating that Czechoslovakia had the capability to assemble fighters. However, this development process was very slow, especially since they did not have a reliable source of components, such as the high-precision jet engines that were difficult to obtain. Designers had experimented with installing the BMW 003 jet engine or other models, but the test results were not good. It was not until 1949 that they were able to assemble a batch of fighters, and the following year, the 5th Fighter Squadron was established, specializing in equipping jet fighters. So, how many fighters did Czechoslovakia gather in total? There were 12 S-92 fighter aircraft, in addition to several trainer models. To be honest, it was difficult to maintain the normal equipment consumption of the forces with this number of aircraft. The engine life of the ME-262 fighter was not long to begin with, and these fighters would be grounded within a few years. The 5th Fighter Squadron was disbanded after only one year. It is surprising that Czechoslovakia even considered exporting the S-92 fighter. The cousin of the Mi-262 did indeed attract the interest of many countries. Yugoslavia was very interested and ordered two aircraft, but this order was not fulfilled. In fact, the rapid production and dissolution of the 5th Squadron, followed by the S-92 fighters being stored in museums, in addition to the fighters' own underperformance and insufficient quantity, were also related to the provision of the MiG-15 fighter by the Soviet Union. The MiG-15, which was successfully developed by the Soviet Union in 1947, had a total production of over 10,000 aircraft and was superior to the S-92 in overall capabilities. Naturally, it was the best replacement model, and a small number of S-92 fighters were preserved and stored in museums for exhibition.